All right, look at this. Lesson 90, man, we are getting close. 33 lessons to go. Can you feel the like electricity in the air? Okay, if you can't, you need to try to feel some electricity in the air. Okay, all right, anyway, okay. So let's go back to doing some stuff. We did these before, a couple of lessons ago, all right? Let's turn some word phrases into algebraic phrases. And today, we're gonna make our own algebraic sentences. So we're going to uh, you know, turn these sentences into equations and then solve the equations, all right? And this is the brilliant, another brilliant thing about Saxon, they just introduce this stuff slowly and bam, you're gonna get this, okay? If you don't get all of them right, don't sweat it. I mean, are you trying? Are you flapping around and giving up after two seconds on these uh, you know, algebra uh, problems and stuff? If you're not, that's okay, don't worry about it. Everybody has different strengths. I mean, you might not be a, a math might not be one of your strengths. In fact, Saxon is written for kids like you. If you go, oh, I hate math, whatever, fine. Where uh, Saxon d helps you in many ways just do things rotely without even thinking about it. And until later on, you kind of understand what's going on with it. So perfect. If you don't like math, great. Just do the best you can. Don't give up in two seconds. You know, just keep trying, okay? You go, you're gonna get this, okay? If you get, look, by the way, just very quick. You're doing 30 problems per problem set, right? Okay, let's say you're getting 24 of them right, or 23. 23 is like more than two thirds. It's actually 76.7%, okay? So if you're getting 75% plus of problem sets, and like they're like, I mean, it's not just what you just learned or you, a couple of weeks ago, it's junk that's been going on for months. So you're getting 75% right of stuff you've been learning for months? That's great. Just fix the ones you didn't get right and learn, oh yeah, I should have done this, whatever, and learn it, do it for next time. So anyway, keep going at it. You're doing a good job, I think. Just keep working hard, okay. The word phrase, a number is three. How do we turn this into an algebraic phrase? A number, we know what the word is is, right? It's equals. A number is three. Boom, there you go. Twice a number is 11. Notice we have is is now. Is that a word, is is? Anyway. We have the word is in all these. Twice a number, 2x, is equals 11. Can you solve that equation? You darn tootin' you can. Okay, um, five more than a number is nine. Okay, well I have a number. Five more than that is plus five, is equals nine. There it is, you got it. One less than thrice a number is 14. What the heck is thrice a number? Three times, of course, okay. All right, I got thrice a number, uh, 3x. One less than that, okay, I'll minus one, is equals 14, boom. Can you solve that equation? You're darn tootin', okay. Six times a number, let's just do it. Six times a number, increased by five, increased by five, is, is 17. Can you solve that equation? You, you, okay, yeah, all right, all right. All right, let's try it. Let's, let's actually try this then. The sum of twice a number and 42 is 128. Find the number. There you go. And if I were you, uh, you can use a pencil lightly in your book and just like, you know, go, okay, I got a sum, I got twice a number and 42, and it, oh, is 128. So you might even go like this. You might even go, oh, is 128. That's equals 128. Now I'm gonna find this part. So the sum of twice, oh, this is gonna be a sum, twice a number, 2x, and 42, 42, oh, I got it. 2x plus 42 equals 128. Okay, now it's easy. I just subtract 42, 2x equals 86 divided by two, and that's gonna be 43. I got it, there we go, okay. You've just, just like Saxon does, you've added a little teeny step, is is, to this thing. You're just gonna solve the equation. I mean, you already knew how to do this, right? You've done a million of these. That's all you're doing is just creating that with a little step, okay, let's try another one. 27 less than the product of three and a number is 144, what's the number, okay. Well, just, let's just get the chunks going, okay? 27 less than, than something, okay? So it's gonna be something there, and then minus 27. Okay, less than what? What goes here? Okay, the product of three and a number. Okay, 
the product of 3 and 3 times x. Okay, minus is 144, is 145. Hey, I got it. Okay, I got it. All right. So now I'm going to add my 27 here. Add my 27 there. You, 30, uh, 3x equals 171. And if you do the division, that's going to be 57. There you go. Follow this to it. Okay. All right. Let's try this one. You know what? You pause this. Try this on your own and see what you get. Okay? And unpause when you're ready. Okay. Four more than. Okay. That just means something's going to be added to four. The product of a number in 33. The product of a, product of a number in 33. So 33 times x equals. Ooh, they even gave me equals. Negative 90. Five, what's the number? Okay, got it. That's my setup. So I'm going to subtract 4. Subtract 4. Yoop. 33x is equal to negative 95 minus 4, negative 99. Don't put negative 91. That's not right. They're both the same sign. So you add the absolute values of the numbers, and you, then you add the negative sign to that. Okay. And I'm sure you can tell that 33 goes into negative 99 three times, but of course it will be negative 3 because a negative divided by a positive is a negative. There you go. That's the lesson today, okay? Go on page 284, give those a whirl, come back after you've done the first one, okay? Okay, five more than, now it means I'm gonna add five to something, the product of six and a number. The product of six and a number is equals 21. There, got it. Five more than the product of six and a number is 21. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna, oops, excuse me. I'm going to subtract 5, and that's going to be 6x equals 16, and divide by 6. There we go. 16 over 6, uh, reduce that to 8 over 3, or, you know, 2 and 2 thirds, whatever you want to say. Okay, there we go. All right, pause it and try B. All right, this looks kind of weird on my screen because the minus is somehow away from the 77 or whatever. Okay, anyway, so no big deal. 4 more than. Stop right there. I'm mean, adding four to something. The product of nine and a number. Okay, nine times, I'll call it A this time, just to add some excitement to the uh, proceedings. Is equals negative 77. There it is. Okay, so I subtract four, subtract four. You, 9A equals negative 81. Okay, so, uh, excuse me, I'll divide by nine. What is negative 81 divided by positive nine? And the answer is, of course, negative nine. There we go. Okay. Last one. Pause it and give it a whirl. Okay. Five less than. I've got the product of five and a number, and I got is, and I got negative 55. Okay. So five less than something, I'm going to subtract five from something. The product of five and a number is five times x is equals negative 55, negative 55. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to add five here. I'm going to add 5 here. 5 times x equals negative 55 plus 5 is negative 50. All right, and I'm going to uh, divide by 5. Negative 50 divided by positive 5 is negative 10. There you go. All you're doing is taking these sentences, breaking them up into chunks, making an equation out of them, and solving them. So, okay. All right. Good luck today. Do the best you can. Lesson 90, man. we got 33 left. Getting close. Okay. See you all next time.